Dr. Michael Head. He's a senior research fellow in global health at the University of Southampton. Thanks so much for speaking to us. You know, I've seen reports saying anywhere from 44,000 to even 100,000 people could be carrying this virus without even knowing it. Does it, does it make you nervous to hear that? These are extremely big numbers that we're talking about. And I think one of the most concerning things is that we just don't know how far this will spread or how big it will get. Um, and also that we now know that there is probably some symptomless spreading um, of the infection, which is unsurprising, but we do see that in influenza and measles and other respiratory infections as well. But it does make cases harder to pick up and harder to diagnose. Um, so I, th I think it is the kind of the uncertainties uh, are particularly concerning here. Okay. I mean, were there any major errors that you noticed uh, so far in containing this virus or failing to contain this virus? Well, I think the Chinese have put in big um, and really unprecedented um, efforts to contain it in terms of this lockdown of 40 plus million people. We haven't really seen that before. They could probably have picked up the um, first cases a bit earlier um, and raised the warning a bit earlier. But I think on the whole, the Chinese and the global public health response has been fairly good. Fair enough. I mean, let me put it in this context, though. We know that thousands of people die every year in developed countries from just the, the normal run-of-the-mill uh, flu virus, actually. Uh, could we be a little bit exaggerating the dangers of the coronavirus because it's so new and so unknown? Yeah, the unknown certainly does scare us a little bit, as we don't quite know how the virus will behave um, or what the consequences of it will be. As you said, we do have so many thousands of deaths of flu every single year. Um, and the coronavirus probably isn't going to cause that many deaths, you would think. Uh, but we can't guarantee that. So I think, yeah, again, the uncertainties are probably sort of the key factor here that makes things um, really right. quite scary. I mean, tell us, though, who is actually dying from it? Are these older people, younger people, people perhaps with compromised immune systems, or are these your average healthy people that are suddenly struck down uh, because their body's just unprepared for this specific strain? Most of the deaths so far have been in the elderly or those with comorbidities, such as having a suppressed immune system. There's actually been very few cases so far in children, which is quite unsurprising. Usually in a respiratory infectious disease outbreak, you will see children at the epicenter of that, but there's been few cases so far. Um, so predominantly the deaths are among the elderly and those who have already been quite ill. Okay, Dr. Head, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for joining us from Southampton. We appreciate it.